Hello my friends, I have a family math game for you today. It's called Poison and um, all you really need is 13 counters of some kind. So pom-poms, Legos, playing pieces, whatever you've got. Something just to keep track of your game. Um, and you're gonna need a partner and that's it. Um, this game is super simple. Um, the instructions are really easy, but the fun is in the logical reasoning and trying to find a winning strategy. So you're gonna wanna play over and over and over again with your child until they think that they've got you beat. Okay, so here's how it goes. Um, you start with 13 playing pieces and there's two partners, partner A and partner B. And on your turn, you are allowed to either take away one piece or two pieces, okay? So one or two. Um, and you're gonna continue alternating with your partner until all the pieces are gone. Whoever takes the last piece is poisoned and they lose the game, okay? So you don't wanna be the one to take the last piece. So pretty simple, right? So you start with the 13. Um, let's say partner A takes away two on the first round. Then partner B would take away just one. Maybe I'd take away one and they take away two. Maybe this time I'd take two and they take two. Mm, I have to decide what I wanna do. Since there's three left, I'm gonna take away two so that my partner is forced to take oops, the last one and they're poisoned. So they would lose and I would win, right? Pretty simple. Um, but the more you play, the more you start to really look into the game, is there a way that you can win every time? Is there a strategy for taking away either one piece or two pieces? Um, is there an order that you're supposed to do it in? Is it more beneficial to play first or play second, right? What is a way that you can win every time? Because there's always going to be a winner and always going to be a loser. See if you, your child can find it. Once they do, challenge their thinking a little bit. Um, maybe start with a different number of pieces. Does their strategy change if they maybe start with 15 or 20? What if you're allowed to take away um, more um, or a different number of pieces? Maybe one, maybe two, maybe even three or four at a time. Does that change your strategy? Does that change um, the game and how it's played? Okay. What if instead of poisoning the person who takes the last piece, what if you think of it as a treat and that person wins? How does that change the game or change your strategy? Right? So those are just some extensions that you can have to challenge your child's thinking about this game and their logical reasoning. So sometimes the simplest things can be the most fun. I hope they get to beat you every time because that means they have a winning strategy. I'm Mrs. Lambert and I hope you enjoy the family math.